froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Sound the alarm! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you alright, Artyom? Damn it! That the building! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could've put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it. Sir. Duke, let's I need go, you to meet on the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta well, say, that all. was one flimsy luck, roadblock. And those guys. Well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they serve the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out?
I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A boat! You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boats. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot. So please. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's alright. Get to the boat. We'll rescue her later. Don't worry. No, nothing. Mommy. So, where is that heretic? She came by boat during the sermon. And then what? Well, he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Celestia said, the man was sent by the devil. <laughs> I know 
what father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just kind of vanished. I see. All right, go to bed. <coughs> and I will go elsewhere. What a dance! He saw no. Now, brethren, have you found the heretic? They're just sitting the there. The devil is looking for his spawn. Sinners. Keep well, looking, my children, for he is about. Give me patience. Technology. <gasps> Nasty lied to you. We didn't kill anybody. Her father, he went to fight a demon and died. Uh, tell him, Kusma. Yes, he went after a demon. And we have many orphans like her here, so please let us be. Come on, you dirty spawn of Satan! Artyom, I can't cover you with your inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. I'm no saint like Father Salantius to take it all like he does. Ah. You are like a real ninja. I just kiss you right now. Though I've got to take Katya and Nastia to the Aurora, so see you there. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight there from your position. huge the old man sent me out as a forward sentry told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action so I just had a front row seat watching you there and so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer <laughs> 
Anna has already reported on the cold. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into jumping all those water bugs. How does Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Artyom, back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. alive! <laughs> Impressive, after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable! Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. 
His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. How do you like Don't the backpack? Shy. Is it comfortable? Thank Can you. you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you, here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, that is with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The Southern Ural. A couple of years ago we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who can have known that fanatics were in control Artyom, uh, I took some measurements. There is one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you'd better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. <laughs> Artyom? Afraid? Bullshit! Besides, the monster is just a catfish. After and the they new say came, the this place got used to be great. Artyom, are you going to the port? I am going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself, I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> In the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. Damn. What do I even do about this? Did you come with your... husband? Well, this one wasn't so bad, by the way. I was careful and never got attacked.